we need to drink the living water and resurrection to remain in the divine dispensing. If we want to experience the divine dispensing of the divine trinity, we need to breathe in the Spirit, drink Christ as the all-inclusive Spirit, and eat Christ as the bread of God. Today we want to we can drink the living water of life and resurrection to enjoy all that God is. Hallelujah! God's intention is to dispense Himself into His chosen and redeemed people to be everything to them. As they remain under the divine dispensing, they can live a life that manifests God and fulfills His purpose. How can we remain under the divine dispensing in a practical way day by day? We need to come back to the basics, we need to eat Christ, drink Christ, and breathe in Christ. We need to eat the Lord as the bread of life, drink the Spirit as the all-inclusive drink, and breathe in the consummated triune God as the Spirit. For us to live spiritually and be able to fulfill God's purpose, we need to eat, drink, and breathe, just as we do humanly. We can never graduate from eating the Lord, drinking the Spirit, and breathing in the Lord as the Spirit. If we think we graduated from eating, drinking, and breathing Jesus as the Spirit, we are in spiritual death, for we daily need to eat the Lord so that we may live because of Him. Our Christian life just like our human life is a dependent life, we depend on breathing, drinking, and eating. The first thing we need to do is breathe, humanly speaking, we breathe all the time, and we breathe spontaneously and effortlessly. If we have any problems with our breathing, we need to take care of these problems as soon as possible, for breathing is vitally important for our human existence. Spiritually speaking it is the same, we need to breathe all the time. Paul exhorted us to unceasingly pray, this is to breathe spiritually. We need to unceasingly pray so that we may breathe spiritually. How can we breathe spiritually all the time and without any interruption? It is by praying at all times. And how can we pray at all times? Can we just pray at work, as we do this and that, and as we travel? The most practical way to pray all the time is to call on the name of the Lord. Many times we call on the Lord's name inwardly, without any audible sound outwardly, we simply call on His name and remain under the divine dispensing. We need to call on the name of the Lord at all times and pursue Christ with those who call on the name of the Lord out of a pure heart. And if there are any problems with our breathing, we need to take care of these problems right away, for breathing is very important for our spiritual existence. May we daily practice calling on the name of the Lord until we call on Him all the time to unceasingly pray, thus breathing in the Lord as the Spirit to remain under the divine dispensing. Christ went through incarnation, death, and resurrection to become the living water and resurrection for us to drink. In Exo 17-6 we see how Jehovah will stand before Moses upon the rock, and all he had to do is to strike the rock, and water will come out of it so that people may drink. This is not just something that happened in the Old Testament for the meeting of the need of the children of Israel as they were traveling through the wilderness. This has spiritual significance and can be applied to us today. The water which came out of the rock is the water of life and resurrection. God became a man and went through the processes of incarnation, human living, death, and resurrection to become a rock that flows out water wherever we are. Before His resurrection, the Lord Jesus stood out at the end of a feast and said, Whoever is thirsty, let him come to me and drink, this He said concerning the Spirit, whom He became after His resurrection, John 7 37-39. Before His resurrection, Christ was not yet the Spirit that can enter into man to be man's supply and everything, He was not yet processed and consummated so that He could be enjoyed by man. It is after His resurrection that He became a life-giving Spirit, 1 Corinthians 15:45. and today the Lord is the Spirit, 2 Corinthians 3:17. for us to drink. Christ went through incarnation, death, and resurrection to become the living water and resurrection for us to drink. Resurrection denotes something which has been put to death but came out of death full of life and now lives again. Resurrection life is the life that goes through death and comes out of death, after passing through death. It is amazing to realize that God Himself became a rock that was cleft on the cross so that living water may flow out of Him in resurrection, and now we can drink of Him. Wow! The rock is Christ, 1 Corinthians 10 4, God became a rock by being incarnated and living among men, going to the cross, dying, and being resurrected. On the cross, He was smitten by God's judgment on our behalf, and out of His side flowed blood and water, John 19:34. He flowed out blood for our redemption, for the forgiveness of sins, and He flowed out water for regeneration, for us to receive and enjoy the divine life as our life and life supply. The entire Bible shows that God's intention is for Him to be enjoyed by man, for this to happen, He went through a process to become the living water of life and resurrection for us to drink. He went through incarnation, human living, and death, and He entered into resurrection. Now in resurrection, Christ is the living water for all those who are thirsty to drink. Are we thirsty? Yes, we all are thirsty, we all can come to the Lord to drink the living water and resurrection. 
In our Christian life, we become thirsty many times, at such times we may complain and murmur, or we may just be upset and critical. When we sense that we are thirsty, we can come to the Lord to drink Him as the living water in resurrection. He is following us as a rock that was cleft, and out of Him flows the water of life, we can simply ask Him to give us a drink, and He will flow into us and even out of us. If we just come to Him as we are and ask Him to give us to drink, we will drink the living water in resurrection and we will flow out with living water to others also. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for passing through incarnation, crucifixion, and resurrection to become the living water for us to drink. Hallelujah, our God was processed to become the water of life and resurrection for all those who are thirsty to come to Him and drink. We come to you as we are, Lord, for we are thirsty, give us to drink. Flow in us as the living water. Flow into every part of our inner being. Save us from trying to make it. Save us from striving to fulfill God's purpose or carry out His economy. Keep us coming to you to drink the living water. Amen, Lord, we want to enjoy the water of life and resurrection today. Only you can quench our thirst. We come to you to drink. Drinking the living water and resurrection to enjoy all the riches of Christ in the divine dispensing. In the physical realm, we need to drink often, and we need to keep hydrated in order to continue to live. We need to breathe all the time, and then we need to drink many times during the day. In the spiritual realm, it is very similar, we need to breathe in the Lord as the Spirit constantly by calling on His name, and we need to drink often. The water we drink spiritually is not a simple water, it is not like the plain water we drink physically. The living water which Christ became as the Spirit in resurrection has many ingredients, many elements. When we drink the living water in a proper way, we enjoy and experience the inward working and operation of the living water and resurrection in our inner being. Christ as the Spirit is the living water, and in this water, we have the incarnation of Christ, the mingling of God and man, the perfect human living of Christ, the all-terminating death of Christ, and the life-imparting resurrection of Christ. Everything is in the water of life and resurrection which we can drink by coming to the Lord. This water is invincible, it is the living water and resurrection, and nothing can overcome it because it is resurrection and it is life. What we drink today is the living water and resurrection, this water has passed through incarnation, human living, and death, and it is now filled with the resurrection life of Christ. The more we drink the living water, the more we enjoy all the riches of Christ in the divine dispensing. The more we drink this water of life, the more we are saved from our natural condition and are triumphant over any hardships and difficulties. It is by drinking the living water of life that we can be delivered from the world and from every kind of negative thing. As we drink the living water, our self is put to death and the flesh is crucified, for the element of Christ's death is in this water. Revelation 22 1 points out that the life-giving spirit is the water of life flows out of God on the throne. This water of life reaches us and all men to supply everyone in the new heaven and new earth. God is sitting on the throne, and God is life also proceeds out of the throne as the river of water of life. For eternity God wants to supply us with living water and resurrection, He is flowing eternally, from eternity to eternity, to quench our thirst and supply us with everything we need. The more we drink from the water that comes out of the throne of God, the more we enthrone the Lord and we have the Lord's authority. We submit to the Lord's headship and lordship, and God's authority flows into us and through us. On one hand, we are subdued by the living water flowing within us, on the other hand, this living water flowing from the throne enthrones us and gives us God's authority. Hallelujah! Everything we need is in the living water and resurrection flowing out of the crucified Christ. The effectiveness of the death of Christ, the power of Christ's resurrection, Philippians 3:10, and the enthronement of Christ, all these are included in the living water that we drink. As we drink the water of life and resurrection, we enjoy Christ's resurrection, His ascension, and His enthronement. It's not easy for us to explain how, but when we drink the living water we taste Christ's resurrection, ascension, and enthronement. All we need to do is come to the Lord and drink, even deeply drink of Him as the living water and resurrection to enjoy all His riches in the divine dispensing. Lord Jesus, we come to You to drink the living water and resurrection so that we may enjoy all the riches of Christ in the divine dispensing. Amen, Lord, give us to drink the water of life. We are thirsty, so we come to You to drink. We exercise our spirit to call on Your name so that we may deeply drink of You. Hallelujah, we can taste Christ's resurrection, ascension, and enthronement as we drink the water of life. Praise the Lord, the death of Christ is applied to our being as we drink the living water. Lord, keep us drinking today. Keep us coming to you to drink the living water and resurrection so that all the riches of God may become our enjoyment and experience for the building up of the church as the body of Christ.